Hi, and welcome to Unprecedented Journey. I'm your host, Jeff Oppenheim, and I thank you for joining us today. Well, Libe is here again with us in the studio, and we're continuing our segment on food sustainability and the reduction of food waste, which Libe is a real expert on. And I wanted to share a more practical exercise with you today. So, Libe had asked me to go into my bachelor fridge and pull some of my vegetables from there. I'll admit, going in, some of them, well, they could have used a little bit more TLC, and I certainly didn't have these fine practices in place already. But I think it will be a great practical exercise for you guys, and Alibe can show us, well, what I can do better, and how to salvage them, and turn them into a great meal. So Alibe, thank you again for being here. Tell me, what can we do with my sad vegetables? <laughs> So, so what I'm are we talking now? about sad vegetables. Oh no. Oh yes. Are you going to pick on me now? Yes, Pull these in. Cue the sad vegetables. And, oh, this is the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Very sad. Okay, so the strawberries. So this is molding. There is no way you no. save that. This is dangerous to you. So don't don't save that. All right, I'll put this away. So these ones are. This one's actually in good shape still, but they're not... It's right on the edge. Right? Yeah, right mm -hmm. on the edge. So you clean them up. This is where this knife comes handy. I know they sell something to cut the, the bottom of the strawberries, but my knife is just fine. So you get them ready, you wash them, and you mix them with your other fruits over there, <laughs> make a dessert, but uh, yeah, they are ready to go. Well, is there anything else we can do with them at this point? Oh. Well, you can also cook them. Cook if, them. Yeah, if you want to make a strawberry jam, hmm. when they are very sad, <laughs> that's when you need to uh, cook them. And that's actually, there are many recipes online that you can use for strawberry jam. So here, we're going to get this ready later and um, wash them. Let me put them somewhere in here. Okay. You can have those. All right. Here. Put those over there. here. There. Okay, so um, these lemons, mm -hmm. they are not looking very pretty right now, but they're still good. So how do you know? We are going to cut. We're going to find out now. Okay, so this one is gone. Oh, well, gone too late, huh? Too late. Uh, usually it's supposed to look green inside. Okay, this one is right at the edge. So okay. we definitely using this tonight. Okay, I'll put so, these at the ready here. And this one. And it's also a little sad. So we're going to use that one tonight too. Tonight, okay. definitely has to go. All right. And then we are going to our cucumbers. Baby cucumbers are delicious, and they're very healthy and great snacks, but these are looking a little sad already. So in order to save this, then some of them are a little soft, but the way to save this is to use the potato peeler. So this way, we use the potato peeler in order to get rid of the skin. We can still save the inside of the cucumber. This actually is looking very green, so it's still good. We need to wash this very careful after we finish. Okay. And this one, for example, the skin, the skin is definitely sad. So try to get rid of as much as you can of the skin like that and then the rest we will finish later and show you what we did with them so so next is these onions Jeff had <laughs> in his refrigerator um, sad onions let's see what we can do with them but well, one of them is very dry but if you peel the onion, you're going to find out that it can be safe. See, it's already looking better. 
So we're gonna cut bottom and we're gonna cut the edge. already looking better so but this onion has to be used tonight just like the lemons and the cucumbers and the sad vegetables <laughs> and also an onion that you should have never put in the um, in a plastic container I usually preserve my onions in glass containers because glass tends to be a little bit easier for um, removing the smell of the onions at the end when you wash them. But um, I see that Jeff, I think you wash the onion before putting it in, into the plastic container because there is a lot of humidity <laughs> trapping here. Actually, you can see the water. <laughs> That's a no-no. <laughs> so let's take one more peel of this sad onion and we're gonna preserve the rest because it's still good, but um, I gather around children for the story of the sad onion. onion. <laughs> Thanks God, I came in time to rescue the onion. <laughs> Nurse Alivia arrived just in time to so, save the poor old onion. Now you can use it for, um, for a salad. <laughs> So do I put it back in the glass? No! no. <laughs> You're not listening. <laughs> Should I get that out of the yes, way? Yes, okay. please. <laughs> now she's going to pick on my sad <laughs> asparagus. I was saving that for soup. Yeah. I thought that would be very, very good. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, no. Okay. These are very sad. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how can you do this to poor Wait. asparagus? Wait, I think I, I hear them whimpering. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, I mean, this this has to go. Okay, oh my goodness, this these are sad. But because we are trying to preserve, I'm going to show you what we can do with them. So, very sad. You shouldn't allow your vegetables to go through this trauma. <laughs> oh, this is this is terrible. Oh, this this is very sad. <laughs> this has to go. Okay, so. These are gonna be part of a meal tonight. <laughs> now another disclaimer: the bulk of our kitchen trash is going to be biodegradable and we'll drop that off at the center later. So let's bring all of them here. Okay. So when tomatoes are looking mm -hmm. as sad as this. The prunes or tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> you said okay. you wanted to make sure that I had some vegetables that, that you could demonstrate. Yes, so yes. you know I did what I could. No, that's, no. that's really the only reason they're like they that. They are perfect for the show. <laughs> Not to eat them in a salad. So this one has to go. Okay. Definitely to go. This one doesn't have any mold, but um, this shouldn't be in a salad. So what we're going to use these tomatoes for is to create a little tomato sauce. Oh, okay. Gonna... And then I can put that away for another day. Yes. Um, All right. Not another day. For tomorrow's meal. All Remember, right. you are dealing with vegetables that they are at the edge. Oh. Oh. There we go. Anything so, else? We're going to put that there. And I want to show you the uh, way to preserve or to wash and preserve lettuce. Okay. Which is just a few of the vegetables that we have left. So, lettuce come, the center usually is uh, very nice and very fresh, but the outside usually gets damaged. As you can see, this was very nice. Um, also because it's been sitting for a little while at the table here. He lost a little moist. <laughs> yeah, this time it wasn't my doing. This time it wasn't. <laughs> so first we're going to get rid of this, right? Get rid of all the very sad leaves. You can take that out. Okay. So usually, oh, one more. All right. And then 
So give it a haircut. You can, yes, you can see, but this one's actually in very good shape. Mm -hmm. So this, this one doesn't need a haircut. <laughs> So right now, if you can give me the salad spinner. Mm -hmm. um, Let it ready here. Okay. So we're gonna do part of this here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut. Let's see if I can control all of this in one shot. Should I be putting that in there? Yes, please. Okay. Such a good helper. See, some guys um, are trainable. I'm going to learn how much uh, you can be trained after <laughs> I come and inspect your refrigerator. Okay, in a week or in two. In a week right? or two. <laughs> if I see any sad vegetables, that means that you are just like any other man. <laughs> Wait, no, if I was any other man, there'd probably be no vegetables in my fridge. <laughs> well, that's true. Only meat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but if you love to cook, you should be tr treating your vegetables with respect. <laughs> now, you have a salad I know every night. Every night. So you like to keep a lot of salad on hand, prepped, ready to go, so you can throw yes. it together pretty quickly. And I always have lettuce as one of the bases for my salad. The final product at the end. So this is how we uh, clean and cut the lettuce. Now we are ready to wash them very thoroughly and we are going to spin them a um, couple of times and we're going to show you what kind of salad we can make with them and also how to storage them the proper way. Well, thank you again, Alibe. This has been a great episode and thank you guys for joining us today for another episode of Unprecedented Journey in our segment on food sustainability and the reduction of food waste. I certainly have learned a lot and I promise, what's the scout's honor? I promise, Alibe, I will start implementing a lot of these tactics in place and doing them pretty quickly from coming home from the supermarket. So thank you so much. Well, today, because you have put so much effort not taking care of your vegetables but the program which allows me to teach others including yourself how to take care of your vegetables at home i will pin you with the 17 sustainable goals pin oh, a graduation ceremony yes. very nice but dun, 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 dun. please know that if you do not keep these practices in about two weeks, I'm going to show up here and check your refrigerator. Uh-oh. I will take the pin away if you don't have very... <laughs> so you guys have got to help me. you got to help me. you got to help me here. I want to keep this <laughs> pin. So thank you again for joining us for this episode of Unprecedented Journey. I'm your host, Jeff Oppenheim. Until the next time, stick around because that's going to be the resource video, which is the meal that Alive and I prepared out of everything you saw here and with great recipes connected to that episode as well. So click through, see the next one, and until that next time, stay safe, stay well. Bye.